Good morning. I'm Dick Bennett for the Omni Center for Peace, Justice, and Ecology. Omni's Book Sampler, a series at the present, a series of books on nonviolent peacemaking, justice making, and stewardship of the land and species. I want to tell you today about three great peacemakers. The first, a world changer, Jesus. The book about Jesus is Nonviolent Story, Narrative Conflict Resolution in the Gospel of Mark by Robert Beck. Notice the, in the subtitle, Narrative Conflict, and in the title, Nonviolent Story. Mr. Beck is a is giving us a structural or a plot that is a narrative analysis of the Gospel of Mark that reveals Jesus as a great peacemaker. According to narrative analysis, he writes, the message of the Gospel is bound in the structure of the story itself. Beck contends that the narrative form of Mark's gospel portrays Jesus as a protagonist who does not avoid conflict, but enters into it without himself resorting to violence. By using literary analysis to explore Mark's gospel, Beck opens up a counter-story that challenges the prevailing American cultural myth of constructive violence or restorative uh, or redemptive violence. Nonviolent Story by Robert Beck, Narrative Conflict Resolution in the Gospel of Mark. The second book is a collection of the essays of the United States great peacemaker A.J. Mustay. This is entitled, The Essays of A.J. Mustay, edited by Nat Hintoff. Mustay was born in 1885, died in 1967. He was one of the leading nonviolent social activists of his time. Starting as a minister in the Dutch Reformed Church, he became a socialist and labor union activist and was one of the founders and the first director of Brookwood Labor College. In 1936, he recommitted himself to pacifism and focused his energy on war resistance, civil rights, civil liberties, and disarmament. Over his life, he worked with a wide array, array of organizations, including the Fellowship of Reconciliation, the Congress of Racial Equality, and the War Resisters League. A.J. Mustay. And the third peacemaker is Mulford Q. Sibley. Professor Sibley has collected in his book essays pertaining to nonviolence, peacemaking, and pacifism. His book is entitled, The Quiet Battle. The essays are divided into those which tell the foundations of nonviolence and nonviolent resistance. Second part, nonviolent power without express principle, that is, historical examples of nonviolent action. And part three, nonviolent power with express principle, theoreticians of nonviolence who explain how nonviolence can lead into action. The third book, Mulford Q. Sibley's Anthology of Essays, The Quiet 
battle. Three books on nonviolent advocates, Jesus, A.J. Musté, Mulford Q. Sibley. This has been Dick Bennett for the Omni Center for Peace, Justice, and Equality, and Ecology. Equality, too. Thank you very much.